my channel I'm going to show you all about adaptive presets today and how we can edit photos now in just one click all right so let's get started with this photo right here this is straight out of camera I was in studio so it was pretty easy to manage but I wanted to quickly oh look we cropped this already I wanted to quickly show you some of the adaptive portraits so if you're not familiar with adaptive presets these are presets that use Lightroom's AI masking tool which you can find over here uh, and this would maybe select things like the subject or the background the sky it also selects people and very specifically can select things like lips hair body skin facial skin all these sorts of fun things so you can go through and create masks which is amazing and edit them according to the selection but with that technology enables adaptive presets so these adaptive presets are using those masking features automatically so that we can in one click are you ready for this enhance portrait and that just retouch the entire thing in one stinking click so there's the before there's the after in one click so this which used to take us forever maybe you were using Lightroom maybe you were using um, Photoshop but just that one click so again before and after isn't that insane in one click we can do all of that retouching so that's what adaptive presets are I do have them for sale all the ones that you see here um, you could of course select things separately um, you know maybe we'll pull up one of these other photos here you know we could do texture hair and just do that we could just do soften skin just do saturate eyes and then enhance portrait just does everything so um, I'm a big fan of clicking on everything and again, there's your before and after. Of course, it doesn't stop just with that. Let me go to another photo. I actually have to find another photo that I even have in here. Uh, okay, let's do this one. This is totally not even remotely an ideal photo, but let's just hit reset right here. I guess this could be considered ideal. Okay, let's fit this in here and I'm gonna just minimize my portrait ones and go to the adaptive scene. So the scenes are very interesting. There's a little bit of sky here. Let's see if it finds it. Um, so we can do things like blue up the sky. Yep, you can see that. We can make it a fiery sky or a magenta sky. We can saturate the sky more. But in a circumstance like this, let's go to, let's go to one that's a little bit more normal of a photo. Um, we can do things like blur the background we can also, you know, exaggerate this a lot more or lessen it. It's subtle, but look at the tree on the right hand side. So we're just blurring the background here. We can also do things like sharpen just this subject. Let's see if I can find any other photos. I should have been prepared to like show you what this actually is. Oh, here we go. These are raws. Nice. Okay, so let's do this one right here. Let's hit reset first of all. This is my original photo and you might want to go through things you know I have all my other presets here that I would potentially go through um, I usually use this joyfully simple one or fresh and clean just depending on what I want uh, or I have productivity tools which is actually what I'm going to do here because this needs to um, lighten the shadows a whole bunch and then probably bump up my exposure and these are just one clicks instead of the sliders over here okay let's just say I started that's my base now we've got a lot more sky to work with so I can blue up the sky and a little exaggerated but kind of nice again you can click and then just adjust your amount how much of that you want to happen so it's a little bit more natural we can make it a fiery sky which in this case would be extremely unnatural <laughs> because that's not a sky that should be fiery you could also make it a little bit more magenta so a little bit more sunset like uh, again, this is a little bit much because of the saturation. Um, and then do things like just saturate the sky and sharpen. So lots of different options here. Maybe a photo like this. Ooh, I'm actually curious to see because this is a pretty blurry background. I don't know how. Um, let's see. Blue sky. Oh, wow. Lightroom did a good job. See, it blew up my sky right there. All right. So these are these one click adjustment brushes. Uh, and of course, you can adjust these. You know, when you do the one click uh, adaptive presets and you come over here you have the mask so as you notice right here Lightroom didn't catch this guy so you can always add to the mask um, whether you're brushing it in or using a color range um, this is gonna be a little excessive here because I didn't do a good job uh, with my mask but you get the idea so these presets these adaptive presets just make life 
so easy being able to do a whole bunch of different things whether you just want to retouch in one click in Lightroom and again you can go crazy and go a little bit more or a little bit less you know AI or natural uh, and then of course go to the adaptive scene like this might be an interesting one to blur the background a little bit more and then the best part about this is once you've put those presets on I can select let's say all the rest of her hit sync and it's going to sync with those adaptive presets so it's we're going to come here and it will have correctly masked her as i hit that preset it will correctly mask her let's just do it this way and make it a bit easier just go from here and then we hit previous and you'll see all the edits were pasted and then the ai settings may take some time i think you actually have to do presets versus apply all but if we come here to the masks we can see all the different masks. It masked the background, it masked her skin, her face, her hair. So right there, not only can we quickly um, make our edits in the one click, but we can one click apply them to others. So pretty incredible if you're just learning about adaptive presets. I mean, the tech can just keep going on and on. But these are my adaptive presets you can grab at breatheyourpassion.com forward slash presets. Uh, or you can just head to vanessajoy.com. That's usually easier. Hit education and find the presets in there. Anyway, let me know what you think of all the AI tech now really readily available here in Lightroom. I'll see you next time.